Okay, so we start again. Uh, I was starting to play the Phrygian mode, which revolves again around E. And like I said, you take the next note, which is F, you bump it up, you raise the pitch by 40 cents. So you move away from the E and you go this way. So you go from F to uh, F plus by diesis. A diesis is a uh, Greek term for 40 cents. It has a technical definition, actually. Uh, almost a quarter tone. So you raise the F by quarter tone. So you, uh, like I said before, you always, in Persian music, it seems like it's always the interval of a half a tone that gets altered and it becomes three quarter tones, whether it's here or here. So I'm going to play your uh, the Phrygian mode and I'm going to show how it is becomes similar to a uh, a Persian mode called Shur. Well Phrygian is like this. Now the P Persian Shur goes like this. Now I'm not gonna. Uh, now I'm gonna. I'm not gonna use this key. I'm just gonna sing out this key and just point to it. No. I'm doing it very quickly, of course. My timing is not as slow and uh, thoughtful as it should be. So, now same scale with this altered F, we're just going to move to the next one, which was Lydian in Greek, ancient Greek um, modes. It was called Lydian. But here, I think it, what do we get? Okay, oh yeah, here. Oh, well, this one I can't play because it would be Sega. And because it revolves around an altered note, it's kind of difficult to play it. Uh, Sega revolves around that altered note, which I don't have. Uh, I can fake it. Let's see. The Lydian mode. So, you know, instead of using this key as a drone, I'm going to use this key as a drone. No. See that note I needed a lot and I don't have it and I'm faking it. Uh, so that's Sega. This jump is the signature for Sega. This jump is a whole and three quarter note. It's a one and three quarter note. That's the signature of Sega. <laughs> Now, if I did a little bit of a game down here and went down three quarter tone and played here and then went up there, oh, instead of saying oh, oh, instead of doing that, if I did oh, 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 oh then that would be charga. Charga and sega are very similar. Now, I'm going to move to the next um, key. Okay, this one which is mixolydian. So your quarter tone note is the one below it. So that just tells me that, that we're dealing with biota torque. Biota torque or biota zand uh, is on the same scale as shur, except that shur revolves here, but biota torque is, so shur is right before the quarter tone, and right after the quarter tone key is biota zand. Oh, 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 oh,
which seems to be similar to the Mixolydian. Next one is Aeolian. Aeolian sounds like... Um... Hi, Bobo. How you doing, Bobo? What's up? It's my dog. Bobo, you want to play? Bobo, you want to play? Okay, so let's see. Are we hitting the 15 minutes? No. no. Okay, so the next one we talked about... Aeolian kind of sounds like Navo or Abu Atta. Navo, Abu Atta, and I think even Afshari. I'm doing Navo right now. See the Abuata has a more of a descending tone, it revolves down here and as an east note, east is where you stop or revolve, uh, you end or cadence, your cadence is on uh, this quarter tone. In You kind of you do cadence, you end on that note. Now we can do uh, back to a uh, Navo. one is Hejaz. Hejaz is a gushe in um, in Abu Atta. Now you shouldn't mix it up with Hejaz if you're familiar with Turkish Maram system. Uh, what we call in Persian, what we call Shushteri. Um, in, 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 in Turkish and Arabic music is called Hejaz. And that's different. Hejaz in Persian music is one of the gushes in uh, Abu Atta. Right here when we played Abu Atta. Then it moves up, and at some point in Abuato, you go into this gouche, this new modal, uh, tonal, uh, or, or new mode. using this but I shouldn't be this is like the Locrian mode that we covered before now 
same thing as dash D. So this could be this could this could be Hejaz like I just did, or it could be dash D. <laughs> There's a little bit of a quarter tone uh, note here. Actually, what's interesting is that all of these modes have one note that kind of alters around and it becomes quarter tone as an accent. And it, it's always, again, it's that half tone that gets altered. And it's always the same half tone. When you're doing shur, uh, uh, as you move up, there's a gushe called shahnal. in dash D, what I was just oh, it's always the same note because we're using the same mode the raised note is always that F and the alter note is this one that's lowered or that one that's raised, whichever you want to call it uh, so, uh, uh, Bayo to for example, that I did. Bayo to is the one after the quarter tone. I actually don't know. What the name of this gouche is, there's a gouche in Bayekazan that has a little alteration to a quarter tone alteration here. Okay, so same thing with dash D, same thing with Shur uh, Afshari is again on the same tone as uh, Abu Atta. Except that the in Afshari, that uh, altered note is actually quite important. You kind of use it a lot. Okay, I hope this was a somewhat of a gives you a little bit of a flavor. Uh, so here, you see how uh, you got to see the Greek modes, uh, church modes, their connection with Persian music. How always the half tone is the one that gets altered to accommodate these Persian modes. And another interesting thing is that these uh, drone notes that I was using down here on sitar or natar, these are the types of uh, backdrop that you need the drone notes on the top strings on a sitar are just doing nothing but creating this tonal atmosphere and depending on what um, mode you could you're using you could use one of these two guys or one of the main shahid or east notes that you're using in your mode for example we covered by a tutor top strings to emphasize that note like that and one of the problems with uh, tar and sitar is that you cannot change these tunings quickly so you cannot play all these modes on the same scale instead of instead of just move you know on a keyboard I can just move my left hand but on the sitar either I have to retune these strings the top strings or I have to transpose the whole scale um, using black keys, you know, basically transpose the whole scale so I can use the same 
top strings in the same uh, tuning that I had before. I hope this was a little bit of flavor and I wish you good luck. Thanks.